<laughs> We're at TV Lines Comic Con Suite with the cast of Timeless and the yeah. producers. Welcome. Oh, Hi. Yay. Yeah. Here we are. You guys aren't supposed to be here. I know. <laughs> and yet, know. here we are. It's an alternate timeline. Can you believe oh. it? And it was not a hoax. It was not planned. It was not a PR thing. Like, we got canceled on a Wednesday and resurrected on a Saturday, and it was unbelievable for all of us. Is it still a shock to you? Do you still think, holy crap, we're here, it's, we're no, still no, no, going? No, no, time has passed. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I, this, that stuff doesn't happen, so it, it's just crazy. I'm delighted. I mean, because we were here premiering the show yeah. at Comic-Con. We we premiered the first episode, right? Yeah, like, we or two, was it the first two? No, 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 it was, it was the, first the first one. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we had our first panel, and I remember when we were backstage, and I was, I was like, "You guys, like, we're here at Comic Con with the show, and it like started in their brains, and then they, you know, we got to get these beautiful roles, and then here we were with thousands of people. It was, it was really phenomenal, and then to be back after the whole story is, I, I mean, like Matt said, it's just I've never even heard of such a thing. I was one of the c cynics who was like. That smells of a PR stunt. That's so funny. I like, promise, because I mean, the amount I of publicity to show that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was like, talking to my wife, I'm like, show's done. Yeah. Like, what plans do you want to make? And we're going to travel. And I can yeah. tell you that <laughs> I would not have that conversation yeah. if this was not an accurate yeah. thing. Because yeah. yeah. I was also on the phone as it was being renewed, and I'm telling her, it's renewed. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We're see, not, see you next year. We're not going to do shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't have yeah. that. You can't yeah. go through that with your you wife can, yeah. unless it's sincere. You yeah. can't imagine how many phone calls happen once you get the cancel notice, because everyone's planning their other job. I remember the moment where I I got a text. I woke up to I was asleep when it all happened. I mean, that's how unbelievable it was. I was not planning for this, totally asleep. And I wake up to calls from all of these guys, and he was trying to come over for us to make like a video. I was like ready to do skits. Like he and was like wanting to do skits, sleeping. and I'm like, I'm just totally passed out. I mean, it was Saturday morning. Did you guys call me on that day? You no. were. Well, I you have know. your number. I know that we you just don't live near me at all. all. <laughs> so I we wasn't don't even that know committed. Where do you live? We don't even know where you live. It's a rotating station. <laughs> so moving on to season two. We you start soon, right? Yeah. Uh, I have an agenda. I <laughs> need <laughs> some super amused. <laughs> super amused by what you guys are doing. He loves your stick. Just so, just so we're clear. When do you start shooting? November 13th. November. November 13th. November. That's the you rumor. You don't start until November. Yeah, yeah. Wow. correct. Yeah. We're back 2018 in Los yeah. Angeles. Yeah, we're making 10 episodes, so we're able to get a little later start that gives us uh, more prep time. And mm -hmm. um, and we've just been told to have episodes ready as early as March and as late as the summer. And we'll find out you know, when, they, when NBC wants to air the show, but we'll start filming in November. And... Uh, you know, have a bunch of episodes written by then and uh, filming on the famed Paramount lot in Los Angeles. Ooh, and cool. so th oh, I that, that, will, lot. that <laughs> So that will allow us to tell uh, some different stories. We filmed in Vancouver last year and, and so we'll have different environments and mm -hmm. you know different casting opportunities. It'll be fun. I heard This Is Us is on that lot and we're gonna do crossovers. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be huge. I was thinking more like West Side Story style rumbles. Oh, yeah. no, oh. totally. This is timeless. It's just like this. Mandy, just Mandy, like this. crazy <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. No, it's good. Okay, good. It's solid. More questions about season two. Please. What can you tell? Tell me something specifically. Where are we go? When are we going? Hmm. Well, we're, there's when a we bunch going? of places we going? we're going. I mean, we're starting to talk about the historical periods. I want to get to, um, I want to tell the Robert Johnson story, blues guitarist, Mississippi Delta in the 30s. Uh, we're talking very, very seriously about a um, young Martin Luther King. There's just sort of a fascinating story when he was in his early teens that, you know, a lot of people don't know about. Uh, Sean has talked a lot about uh, the orphan train. Um, we really, really got so close to breaking a like, 1950s Hollywood episode, mm. but this, one, the story fell apart, and two, we just were like, how are we doing this in Vancouver? Mm -hmm. But now that we're literally on the Paramount backlot, we'd be crazy <laughs> not to do it. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I, feel, I feel like Catherine Hepburn moment. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. I truly feel if we don't give her an opportunity to sing this year... Don't make me sing. That, like, don't make me sing. <laughs> no, no, don't right. make me sing. I, I think we're in trouble if we don't. And, uh, so, you know, and then in terms of, like, just... it's, I think it's going to be a much more intense 
um, season two. I think we're going to play forward all the cliffhangers that we ended season one on. I think, you know, Lucy's mother is going to be a big, big problem. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, there's going to be a really even more complicated relationship with Garcia because they, they're they now kind of all fighting, you know, this... They have a common enemy. Yeah, they have a common enemy with this Rittenhouse group that now has the time machine. But obviously their relationship isn't so hot right now. Um, well, more about more issues to fix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so you know, I, it's um, we're gonna carry through the storyline as we set it up because it was always the plan, which is a very small group of people. Rittenhouse is mostly collapsed, but a very small group of them, headed by Lucy's mom, um, have the time machine, and they're gonna make like a kinder, gentler, whiter America, and our guys have to stop them. I think also what we really learned about season one is how big the show is. I mean. Nobody's holding back in the quality of the creativity top to bottom on the show. And so it's nice that we have more time because the costumes are all, I mean, the detail of every single costume of every single person in every frame is real. And and what I really want people to know going into season two is that it truly is the most ambitious show on television. We create a, an entire movie every single week and a different movie every single week with different actors and different time periods and and I don't even know how we did it in season one so I'm excited for more people to know about the show and learn about all of these time periods and how I would say well you guys are doing it and how well we're doing it. Mm -hmm. So NBC wasn't like we'll bring you back but we're gonna shape we need to sh cut down the budget a little bit. It's nominal I mean there's like I mean honestly the honestly the biggest you know, cost challenges, you know, even though we're very lucky to have gotten the tax credit, you know, LA is just a more expensive town than Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So there's like a little belt tightening that's going to come because of that, but not really, not really from NBC. But Malcolm sacrificed his salary his for the show. Yeah. They just, for honestly, <laughs> they only, their only demand was that we call it Chicago Timeless. <laughs> But beyond that, they, they were like, they were like, just roll with it. I think it's fair. 